Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tanya Kendall. If you've not seen any of my videos before, I talk about beauty, so I talk about skincare and I talk about makeup um, and all those sorts of things in between reviews or just what I'm excited about or how I've been affected by them. So if you would like to know more, then click the subscribe button, which should be here with a little bell. Um, so with a, you know, if you don't check the bell, you're not gonna get notified when I've done videos. Then yeah. Today I want to talk about the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion Plus. Um, I've been trialling this one for two weeks. I'm trialling this one after I had trialled the Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, and so if you want to know my opinion on this, then stay tuned. Welcome back. Alright, cool. So, obviously, you know I'm doing a review on the um, Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion Plus. Um, I received this as part of a sample when I purchased the Clinique Moisture Surge. And um, before I actually get on to talking about the Dramatically Different, um, I want to um, explain that I've already done a review on the Clinique Moisture Surge. And... Um, what I didn't mention in that, because what I didn't know at the time, is that as far as I'm aware, as far as I've found out, this is not necessarily really a moisturizer, but more like a, um, a lock-in treatment for your moisturizer. So it's something that you would put on, um, from what I've been told, after you put on, say, this, this moisturizer. So the um, moisture surge would just lock in any of the moisture that you've already got on your face. So I guess you could use the um, Clinique as a moisturizer if you've got skin that doesn't need a lot of nourishing and it's pretty good on its own. Um, but as I said in the video, for someone like me who's got, you know, really dry skin, I need a little bit more than that. So what I am going to do, um, especially now that I've, uh, I've tested the dramatically different, is that for the next week, I'm actually going to trial putting this on and then this over the top and I want to see how that works um, and then I might be able to go back to my old video and, and do an update on that. Alright, which means that my next um, moisturizer review is going to be in three weeks time and not two weeks like I normally do and the moisturizer that I'm going to be reviewing next will be up in this corner hopefully. Um, so anyway, let's get on to this. This is a um, 30 mil tube. Now, if I put it up to the light, I am I'm this far down on it, and I have been using this religiously morning and night. Um, you know, <laughs> not just uh, sparsely either. I mean, I have been putting it on, and my skin has been loving it. And um, it does say that it's for dry, a uh, very dry to dry combination. Um, so that's almost almost anybody. Um, but I actually wouldn't recommend it if you have oily skin. Um, it is creamy. It does um, sink in quite fast, but um, I'm not sure how it would go on oily skin. But um, for me, um, it's fantastic under my makeup, which is a bonus. It is um, allergy tested and it's 100% fragrance free. And Clinique are not going to like me if they've watched my last video and they're going to watch this one. I mean, like they would anyway. But I said that the smell... Um, of the Clinique Moisture Surge smelled something like cicada piss. Uh, not cicada piss, um, millipede piss. <laughs> Which I actually did some research on and um, I clarified that I didn't actually mean that it was um, millipede piss, but they secrete a, um, uh, a chemical to ward off, you know, anyone who might be wanting to eat them. And it's a hyaluronic acid that they do and uh, that they secrete. And actually, it's got a hyaluronic acid in that. So I would assume that that's what the smell would be. But the reason why I think Clinique would have the shits with me if they saw my video is because this one here, because it doesn't have any um, scents added to it, it's only got the smells of the products that are in it. And... I'm a bit the same with this one. This one to me does not smell millipede, like millipede um, secretion or whatever you want to call it, but it does smell like an overheated car radiator. You know that dirty water smell? But once again, disappears. It's not like dis like hardcore disgusting. It's just, you just go, hmm, okay. It's not like this pretty luxury, you know, but <laughs> this is great. Like this is fantastic. This, I have to say at the moment, is my holy grail. I 
Once I had tried that Clinique, I was so disappointed, the moisture surge, I was so disappointed because I thought, ah, oh, I've spent $60 on this product that was supposed to be like the bomb and it failed me. I didn't do enough research on it. I haven't even really done enough research on this, but since I got this as a sample, I've been trying it and I love it. And so what can I say? I guess that the lotion is the way for me. Um, that's not going to stop me from testing out other moisturizers. Um, I am going to. I'm curious to see if there's anything, you know, that's even better than this. Um, but I've got to say, I, I love this. Um, it says that it's step three. Obviously, it's saying that um, you should cleanse and clarify first. But, I mean, that's just common sense, isn't it? So, um, there's not really a lot that's to say about this other than... I think it's fantastic. Uh, I put it on of a night time in the morning, um, well, like it rubs in really, really well. And in the morning, I feel like a lot younger. Um, I don't think I look a lot younger, but my skin feels fantastic. Like I've not had a speck of eczema pop up. I've not had any skin irritation. Um, I haven't broken out with any pimples because sometimes these things do that to me, you know. I don't normally get pimples, um, but sometimes cosmetics and, um, you know, skincare can make me break out. Um, I've had no dry patches whatsoever, so it's just, it's been fantastic. And I'm thinking that if um, I keep on using this and I top it on with this moisture surge, if I use it the way that I've been told that I'm supposed to use it, I'm thinking that it could be absolutely fantastic, a, a great combination. So um, the Clinique Moisture, uh, sorry, the Clinique Dramatically Different Plus is cheaper than the um, than the Moisture Surge, and it comes in a little sort of uh, pump bottle uh, jar. Like I think it's still like um, not glass, but um, maybe like a ceramic sort of thing, and it's got a pump on it. Um, I think that it's, you get a lot more bang for your buck. I can't recall how much it is, but I'll probably put it here, or there, or there. I'll put it somewhere. And, um, yeah, so... I think it's great. I think this one is definitely worth the money, and I will let you know what I think of these two together in a short video during the week. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned, watch out for it. I won't bang on too much, it'll be a really short video. I have a habit of, like, stretching things out. So, um, yeah, no. Love it, and what do you know? Alright, well, if you enjoyed my video, please like, share, subscribe, whatever, and, um, come back. Um, yeah. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.